Hey guys, it's Ross. So I'm here today with another tutorial and today's is going to be a DZ designs type style. So we're going to start by opening up Photoshop, making a new document 1600 by 1600 with 300 resolution. And I'll do uh, Russell Westbrook for this. So to get the picture you go images, search tool, size, larger than, and 4 megapixels. So I'll use this as the main photo. Remember you click view image to open it to get the uh, full size image. Right click, copy, open up Photoshop, and paste or Command V and Command T to transform, Command 0 to resize, and then hold Shift and drag to keep it in proportion. And now you can see this picture is a little bit bigger than the canvas. So what you could do is hold shift and make it a little bit smaller. Just enough to make it fit. Kind of center it. Command zero. So after that, what you do is you, to make it fit, you could take the selection tool over here and just drag it into the blank spot up here. Go to edit, fill, and make sure it's on content aware, and press OK. And what that does is it takes stuff from in the image and fills it up here, kind of like the clone stamp would do, but it kind of does it for you, so it makes it a lot easier. And you could use the clone stamp for this. So the next tool you're going to use is the clone stamp tool. And it's right here. And what you do with it is you press Alt to select a spot. So I'll pick uh, right here. And then the brush will copy where you have put the Alt selection. And you could just kind of use it, drag across, get the shorts, and over here, you can press Alt again, up here, get the brush a little smaller, let's move it down here, and then you could just drag down, just make, fix up his pants a little, Oops. Alt. okay, so now for the other parts, you could do the selection tool again, up here, Drag the box, edit, fill, and content aware, deselect. Same thing on the other side. Okay, so now that I have it all resized, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut him out, and I typically use the pick selection tool, and a lot of this you could, uh, a lot of this basic stuff I'm doing right now you could learn in my other tutorial. It's called a simple edit. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut them out. So once you have them fully selected what you could do is press command or control J. And what that does is it cuts them out, separates them from the base layer. And 
because this is a DZ style, they typically, or he typically attempts to use more than one image. So I'm gonna go ahead and find another Russell Westbrook image. Same uh, thing as before, images, search tools, size, larger than, and four megapixels. So, find a good picture to use. <laughs> we will use We'll use this one. It's not bad HD. HQ will find a better one. Okay, we'll go with this. Copy and paste it. Resize. And we'll put it up here. So after you paste it, what you do is you make a layer mask. And to do that, you come down here at the bottom and you click this, which is add layer mask and you click the new layer mask that was made and press command or control I and what that does is it inverts the image so it will make it not visible until you add white over here like this so to make it visible again you could use a brush and uh, to download brushes, all you have to do is type uh, any like type of brush, like this is Technology Brush Photoshop, and then just click the link and download it. Um, these are like splatter paint brushes, Photoshop, and you can search that. You look up stars brushes, Photoshop. There's just smoke brushes, Photoshop. There's a bunch of brushes you can get. So for this one, I'll do, do the swirl type. So you could use, make sure it's white and you click over it to reveal the other image. And you do this again, we can put another image in the bottom use this one. Resize it to fit. Shift. And a little bit bigger. Okay. Should be good. Same thing. Add layer mask. Command I. Pick a brush. Mm. And just zoom in. And select in the area where the player would be. So let's go over here. Alright, let's use a different brush. And what I would do is I'd take these layers and move them below the cutout version of him. 
and so you can kind of go in after make your brush black and just kind of get some areas hidden again and to make them certain colors you make a new layer above them and you fill it with whatever color you want so I'll make it above the two and just press command or control and click on the uh, layer mask it will bring up the selection all you have to do is say inverse and delete and then make the layer black and white so and this blue layer now on top of it you could adjust the color and you do the same with this one so make a new layer above it edit fill the color you want hold command and click on the layer mask go to select inverse and delete and then you go to the layer of the player make sure you click on the left go image adjustments black and white hit ok go back onto the color layer change the opacity of it another thing you could do is use a uh, sort of effect over it so use overlay yeah I think I'll do that I'll use the overlay above it so put the opacity on and then put it on overlay yeah, that works out so I'm gonna make a duplicate of the bottom layer first so we'll go command J and then I'll make this new one black and white also so adjustments in black and white And I'll add a layer of color on that. So I'll make it orange. Let's see if we can get an orange out of here. Edit, fill, foreground color, and overlay. And then a couple other things you could do behind it or add some stars oh, white so let's make a layer for the stars here add some smoke behind him the smoke brushes to use for this actually are grudge brushes so if you look them up and download them they kind of give it more of a texture to it if I can find them Um, 
Well, I can't find them right now, but they're good brushes to use. So I'll just use the, uh, the paint strokes for now. No, wait, here's the grudge brushes. These are grudge splatters, I think they're called. They kind of just look very rough. So the last and final step I'm going to do is add a skin on it. So you go to the player layer, open up adjust, go to uh, psychedelic, press OK, filter, Topaz Labs, denoise, I do strongest. This one always takes the longest, I don't know why. And then next what you're going to do is you go to Topaz Clean and Curly Smooth, Strength 2, Threshold 0, and then you could just Play around, make it look good. And then I'll do denoise again. So yeah, that's how you basically make a DC Designs type style.